host, Jennifer, as always, welcome back, welcome back. So, um, something very special, uh, I say special because I am reviewing a movie from Horror Pack, not just any Horror Pack, but from the June Horror Pack that I got in July. I say special because I'm always like, I have every intention to try and at least get a couple of reviews from them from each month, uh, you know, a few of the movies between the packs, I never do, um, just cause life, and I get sidetracked with other things, I'm just saying, but, the movie, the movie we are talking about, if you cannot tell by the title of this video, a movie you guys have been telling me to watch for years now, and I keep pushing it off, and pushing off, cause I get sidetracked, and sidetracked, but I finally watched it, because thank you horror pack because now I have no excuse not to watch it and what are we talking about today we are talking about the Belko experiment from 20 something I don't even know I don't even know I probably should have looked at this 2017 2017 it only came out in 2017 I thought it was like a little you know maybe about like if that's wrong I'm sorry you guys I'm just going by but anyway so Belko experiment Oh my gosh, you guys, this did not disappoint. I understand the whole buzz. It is one that I've wanted to watch for a while. I'm kicking myself that I did not watch this movie sooner when you guys told me to watch this movie. I am sincerely sorry, you guys. This is a movie. OMG. Okay, so basically what it's about, if you don't know what Falco Experiment is about, I only kind of have heard of it sort of in passing or whatnot, Belko Experiment is about an office building that people are coming to work, thinking it's any other day, normal day, and then what do you know? Someone gets into the system, the sound system, and tells them, hey, you have 30 minutes to kill X amount of people. Two people, I think? I believe it, was, it started off with two. Everyone's kind of thinking it's a joke, it's a prank, someone's hijacking the system, you know, because I mean, like, honestly, like, like, that's not an everyday occurrence, like, who would think that's actually real, you know, I'm just saying, like, even though it's a movie, you know, it's kind of like they, you know, they made the people a little bit more smarter in this one, more smarter, yeah, yeah, that's a kind of justification right there, more smarter, um, <laughs> whatever um uh, but no it's it's a little bit smarter in the sense where you know people weren't necessarily characters or just kind of over the top characters or anything it was more like people that you would actually kind of like work with you know like there are certain people in here uh i definitely was kind of like yep that's that guy Yep, that totally reminds me of so and so at work. Even at Little Target, like yeah, I was like, I was picking out some people, like the per the pervy guy. Uh, I can't think of his name. He's been in a ton of stuff. Um, but who keeps kind of like looking at the girl, the one girlfriend, you know, like yeah, yeah. I <laughs> there's a couple, there's a couple people I work with like that. There's one who is literally still trying to get in my pants. I'm like, Uh, no, I mean, not as creepy, but a little, you know. But no, there were certain people that, like, I was definitely like, oh my god, I don't like working with these people. Um, and then, you know, so they don't really listen to the warnings or anything, because once again, they think it's a joke. So when that 30 minutes is up, what we think are bullets literally blow up two people's heads. People are like, what the fuck? Uh, we come to find out that when all these people started, they had been placed with a little... Uh, chip or whatever, you know, so maybe you should kind of think twice before you uh, get your dog tagged. No, I like having my dog tagged in case he runs off. He does have a fucking run off. I'm just saying. But, so there, that's kind of when they're like, okay, what the hell's going on? And then a new thing comes up of like, okay, you have now have two hours and you need to kill 30 people. They're kind of like trying to work together and some people are like, no, that's what we need to do. And all this stuff, and then just sort of seeing the progression and everything, and I like that it didn't, right off the bat, start up being like, boom, boom, you know, everyone's trying to do it, it was kind of, trying to see the whole human, uh, 
human nature aspect about and everything and like human behaviors and what you would do. And that's kind of basically, you know, that's basically kind of what, uh, uh, what this movie is trying to basically establish. Like what would people kind of do in a situation? And I think that's pretty somewhat realistic. Like I know this is a movie, I know it's a horror movie. Chances of something like this to really happen. I don't want to say no, it would never happen, but kind of highly unlikely. I'm just saying, because the way that I, the way, the day and age we're living in, I mean, people are hacking computers, they're hacking little ring doorbells and, like, security systems and stuff. Ugh, I mean, I, I hope this doesn't ever happen to anyone ever in their life, but, you know, and that's kind of something that, uh, that, with a movie like this, that does kind of scare me. Because like I said, I know this is a situation like this. Very un, un very unlikely. Sorry guys, I literally just took my medication. Um, normally it calms me down. But I'm very, I noticed I'm very, very hot. I am so sorry you guys. God. Uh... <laughs> But anyway, I just, I, sorry, I realized I was so hyper, but anyway, so, uh, but no, so that is something that kind of, you know, with this movie kind of does put some terror in me and, you know, makes it scary because it is, it's like, it makes you start thinking like, what would I do in this situation, you know? And then you start thinking like, you know, cause very much like this, you know, like we, you know, we do get this sense oh, with some of these people, some of these interactions, not everyone really likes each other. So it's kind of like, and we all like, and don't even try and tell me you're not, cause we all do this at work and stuff is like, there's always those people who, there's those people we don't mind talking to, to have a chat with kind of our work colleagues. And then there's other people where we're like, I remember there's a, a man and a, a woman walking past each other, and they're like, oh, good morning, oh, good morning, and as soon as they pass, they're both like, that is me with so many people that I worked with at the store, and it's like, in a situation like this, like, I would never want to, like, wish harm on these people or do harm myself onto them, but in a situation like this, like, I, when I was walking this yesterday, I kind of started thinking, I'm like, There were faces kind of popping up that I thought, could I? Like, if I was in the situation, could I? Could I? Um, interesting fact, though, about this that I just thought about. Because there was people who, um, you know, because they were, they were saying, oh, you know, you got to kill X amount of people in this amount of time. It's interesting how no one, no one sacrificed themselves or offered themselves up of like, hey, you know what? You know, like for me, example, like, I mean, I've got my family and everything. I don't have kids or anything, you know, so like, and I don't even know. I don't even know if I would, but just thinking if I was in that position, I don't know. Like if I, depending on who I was working with that day, looking around being like, you know what? That person's got kids. They just had grandkids or whatever, or they have grandkids. Like, they got a pretty good thing going. Or, you know what, this person just got, you know, over a bad patch, a bad luck patch. Things are turning around. I don't know. Like, would I kind of be like, you know what, I ain't got nothing going on. Like, you know what, I ain't doing nothing with my life. I'll be one. I'll be one. Like, who else? Like, I don't, like, you know, and that's the thing, too. Being put in that position totally different so I don't know if I would like honestly I don't know if I would be like one of those who's like okay not even to be like a martyr or anything but just like I said just be, if I'm looking around I'm like you know what like that guy's luck has just been turned around man like his life is looking up man like I want him to enjoy life or like this person just had a baby or something or that one just found the love her, of her life man like I don't know but I think it's interesting in the movie Everyone's kind of all concerned about, like, oh, my God, oh, we can't kill anyone. Well, none of y'all are putting yourselves up. What up, though? But, I mean, you know, once again, once again, that is, you know, human behavior, human nature, not to uh, kind of be a little selfish and not want to die. So, here we 
interesting. Very interesting. Um, but yeah, God, this was such a good movie, you guys. Oh my God. Like, seriously, Warpack. I'm muchos mas grandes, you. I'm just saying. Because um, me me gusta. Me me gusta. Mucho, mucho. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Got me all speaking Spanglish. I'm just, yeah. But, uh, but no, I love this one, you guys. I did. If you have not watched this yet, check it out. I've been seeing it uh, over the last year or so. I've really been seeing it kind of going from different uh, streaming services and everything. So it is very, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty bloody and everything. So if you like some of that gore and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm just saying. So anyway, you guys, thank you again for listening, tuning in and everything. Till next time, as always, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.